He let homeless woman take a shower in his house. An hour later, she handed him a note that shocked him. The winter air was sharp, biting at Jack's cheeks as he trudged through the freshly fallen snow. His mind was still buzzing from the stress of deadlines when a soft, quivering voice pierced the silent night, jolting him back to the present. Just steps from his apartment, nestled in a dimly lit alcove, was Linda, a figure so small and frail under her inadequate blanket that she seemed almost part of the streets themselves. "'Please, can you help me?' she whispered, her voice barely above the howl of the wind. Jack paused, looking down into her eyes, eyes that mirrored a world of suffering and resignation. Without a second thought, his technical world gave way to human concern. "'Of course. Come with me. It's too cold to be out here,' Jack offered, extending his hand with a gentle smile." As they walked to his nearby apartment, the usual city sounds faded into a muffled backdrop. Linda's presence was quiet, her footsteps hesitant. "'You'll be warm soon,' Jack reassured her, noticing her shivering form. Linda nodded slightly, her gaze fixed ahead, the glow from the street lamps casting shadows that played across her tired face. Once inside, the warmth of the apartment enveloped them. Jack led Linda to the bathroom, where he had quickly laid out some towels and basic toiletries. The steam from the running hot water filled the room, creating a small oasis of warmth. Here are some towels and toiletries for you. Please, take your time, Jack said, motioning toward the fluffy towels. Linda, her voice a mix of gratitude and disbelief, managed a weak smile. Thank you. I can't remember the last time I had a warm shower. Her words were heavy with emotion, each one laden with the weight of her gratitude. Jack nodded, feeling a profound sense of connection to the human condition. "'You're welcome here. Let me know if you need anything,' he responded, stepping out to give her privacy. In the kitchen, Jack began to prepare a simple, hearty meal, his mind racing not with code and data, but with thoughts of kindness, humanity, and the unexpected ways lives could intersect on a cold winter's night." Linda stepped out of the bathroom, her appearance profoundly altered. The shower had sluiced away the harsh layers of street life, unveiling a woman who moved with a quiet grace that belied her recent hardships. Her hair, now clean and combed back, framed a face that spoke of resilience and dignity. Jack couldn't help but pause, struck by the transformation. "'You look refreshed,' he said, finding that simple word hardly captured the stark difference." Thank you, Jack, Linda replied, her voice soft but steadier now. It's been a long time since I felt this... human. There was a faint smile on her lips, one that seemed to thank him not just for the shower, but for the respect he had shown her. At the dinner table, Jack served a warm, aromatic stew he had whipped up, hoping it would be comforting. As they ate, the room filled with the clink of utensils and the warmth of the meal. This is delicious, Linda commented, taking a tentative sip of the broth. You're quite the chef. Jack chuckled modestly. It's just something quick. Food always tastes better when you're really hungry, doesn't it? Linda nodded, and a silence fell between them, comfortable yet charged with the unspoken depths of her story. Gradually, she began to open up about her life before homelessness, her voice weaving through memories of better days, a time when she was a teacher passionate about literature before a cascade of misfortunes led her to the streets. As the evening wore on, Jack noticed Linda occasionally pausing to scribble notes on a piece of paper. His curiosity grew, but he chose not to intrude, respecting the boundaries she quietly maintained. Instead, he focused on ensuring the atmosphere remained light and supportive, sharing a few anecdotes from his own life to balance the conversation. It's been a tough journey, hasn't it? Jack finally said, his tone gentle, inviting her to share only what she felt comfortable with. Linda looked up from her writing, meeting his gaze with a newfound clarity. Yes, but tonight has been a beautiful pause. Thank you, Jack. Their simple dinner, filled with shared stories and silent understandings, offered Linda a rare night of solace, a night where she could forget her struggles and remember who she was beyond the streets. After enjoying a warm meal that seemed to momentarily dissolve the harsh realities of the outside world, 
Linda reached into her pocket and pulled out the note she had been quietly working on throughout the evening. Handing it to Jack with a shy, yet grateful smile, she thanked him for the food, the warmth, and most of all, for his kindness. I can't tell you what tonight has meant to me, she said, her voice quivering slightly with emotion. Without waiting for a response, she wrapped her scarf tighter around her neck and stepped out into the cold night, leaving Jack with the folded piece of paper in his hand. As the door closed behind her, Jack unfolded the note, his fingers trembling slightly from anticipation. The words scrawled across the page caught him completely off guard. The note revealed a truth so startling that Jack had to sit down as the implications washed over him. Linda was not just a random homeless woman. She was the long-lost sister of his best friend Mike, who'd been missing for years following a devastating family tragedy. The reality that his simple act of kindness had unknowingly connected him to a friend's lost family member was overwhelming. Jack immediately picked up his phone and dialed Mike, his hand shaking as he held the receiver. Mike, you won't believe this. I think I found Linda, he stammered, his voice thick with emotion. The disbelief and sudden hope in Mike's response were palpable. What? Jack, are you sure? He asked urgency, lacing his words. Yes, I'm sure. She left a note. We need to meet up. Can you come over right now? Jack urged, his heart pounding with the weight of his discovery. Within the hour, Mike was at Jack's doorstep, his eyes wide with a mix of hope and fear. Together, they organized a meeting with Linda. When the day of the reunion arrived, the emotions were intense. Linda walked into the room, and upon seeing Mike, tears immediately sprang to her eyes. Mike rushed to her, enveloping her in a tight embrace that spoke volumes of the years lost and the relief of reunion. The room was heavy with emotion, every breath filled with the profound realization of what this moment meant for everyone involved. Linda's note had sparked a series of events that brought a family back together and forged a new depth of friendship between Jack and Mike. Jack watched the siblings, feeling an indescribable fulfillment. This was more than charity. It was a restoration of broken bonds, a testament to the fact that sometimes the simplest acts of kindness can lead to the most extraordinary outcomes.